Hey everyone, this is Ryan, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at polymorphic fields and how to use the isType and asType functions to display polymorphic fields either as a user or a team in our list here. And we will also look at using the regarding field in our tasks table. And also, how do we stamp um, you know, polymorphic fields when we're creating or updating records in the Dataverse? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add the owner field to our account list here on the left side. So the owner can represent a user or a team. Then what we will do is we will limit the task list that we have here based on the account selected in the left gallery. So regarding field can represent numerous you know, entities. So they could represent a um, for example, a account, contact, lead, opportunity. So it can reference a lot of different tables. And in this case, since we know it's going to reference a, an account, we're going to limit these um, tasks to the account selected. And the third thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new record that references a polymorphic field. So there's like the owner, there's the regarding field. So we'll see how we can add and reference you know, those types of fields in the patch statement. So here, what we're going to do first is we're just going to copy our city here. And then what we will do is I'm going to say I'm going to reference the owner. So as you can see, when I type in owner, nothing happens here. Okay, it says it's expecting a value, a text value. So if I enter in a, a dot here, you can see I cannot reference a team name or a full name from the user table. That's because owner references can reference both. So what we want to do here is we're going to say if we want to find out what the type is. So if is type is the owner, we're going to reference the full name. So is type always brings back a true or false value. So we're going to say if this item uh, dot owner is users table. What we're going to do is we're going to say we're going to cast our owner field as the user table. And then we'll be able to pull back any of the user fields into this column. So we're going to say as type, and we're going to reference this item dot owner. And we're going to say users again. And then now if I hit my period, you will see I can now reference a lot of like pretty much all the fields in the user table. So if I start typing in full name, you will see it's retrieved. So now I get full name. So now for the owner field, we know it can only reference either a user or a team. So we can always say the default value at this point is going to be the team because we know our records must contain an owner. Every single Dynamics record for an account has to represent some sort of value, has to be present. And so we could just default this to a team. So we're going to say as type this item dot owner. And we're going to say it references teams. And then now, if I hit my period here, I can start typing in team name down here. And then if we close this off, we see now that we have user or a team name being filled out. So that's the easy way to bring in the owner field and cast either user as team. Now let's go to a more complicated field, which is the regarding. So with the regarding field here, um, right now we're bringing in all tasks. So we're not even filtering on any data. So let's start filtering. So here we'll filter. And what we want to do here is we want to cast the regarding field that's being filtered on in the task record. Uh, to an account specific type. So here we're going to type in as type. And then I'm just going to say where this record regarding. 
okay? And then we're going to say it has to represent the accounts table. And then from here, if I hit my period, you will see I can now reference all the columns underneath the accounts table. And we want to make sure we grab the, the GUID here. So I'm going to say where the account equals, and we're going to reference the gallery on the left. So we'll say gallery accounts dot select one, and we will find the account. So now if I close this, you will see I'm now referencing tasks related to the account selected on the left. So if I press play here and I select other records, you will see how the tasks change. So that's the easiest way to, to you know, filter it when using a polymorphic field. Uh, it's pretty simple to do. Now, how about adding records to the task list that reference a polymorphic field? And it's actually very easy to do. So if we go down to our patch statement, currently we're only referencing subject due date description. Those are pretty simple because we're just stamping whatever values that we have in our uh, fields above. So subject due date description, they're easy to stamp in. But what we wanna do is um, I created this little radio button here that says, okay, you can assign the owner to me or operations, okay? So to do that, what we will do is we will say, okay, owner, And what we'll have here is a condition to say where the radio owner, and we'll say selected equals me. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're actually just going to reference the user's record. So to do that in um, a Power App, you will look up to the user's table and we can see where this record dot, um, I think it's primary, or sorry, username. We're not going to use email, we're going to use username here. So where the username, and it, obviously if you're, you know, CR, are using Power Apps, your username is your email address for the account that you're logged in with. So what we can do is reference the user function and reference the email, okay? And we want to stamp the whole record so we don't need to enter in dots, like grab like the user ID or anything like that. We're referencing the record here, okay? And then what we're going to do is the fallback is we're going to reference the operations team. So I'm going to say, look up teams and what we're going to say is where this record dot team name equals operations equals operations so this will retrieve the team from the uh, operations team from the team table and we want to reference the whole record here okay so at that point, we will close off our if statement, and you'll see that there's no errors at this point. So that's great. What about the regarding field? So obviously if we add it to the list here, it won't show up anywhere with our related um, accounts because it'll be a task on its own. So in this case, what we want to do is regarding is actually very simple. Um, We'll add the regarding here and we'll reference the gallery. And we'll just say what the selected record is. So when you're reading polymorphic fields, you have to cast them to find out which you know, table they represent in order to grab related fields. When you're updating or creating records in the Dataverse using a Power App, you don't have to cast it it'll just automatically recognize what it is and stamp it in the database. 
So here, if we go back to our app, so we're going to say um, uh, check with client. And we're going to see if they check if they need more napkins. We're going to enter in the due date here and we're going to say it's operations and we're going to click add. So at this point, our gallery refreshes and you'll see it's assigned to operations. Okay. So if we go to um, this other company here, um, check with client for, you know, dish soap. Sure. Why not? Um, so at this point, uh, we're going to see if the check, if the client needs more dish soap. So at this point, we're going to select it as me. So I'm going to enter another date here. We're going to say it's me and then click add. And then you can see here how it references my user account. So at this point, you know, this is a pretty, you know, easy way to how to determine what a, you know, an, the owner field represents, what the regarding field represents, how to read them, how to bring in related data, and also how to add records to a, to a table that references polymorphic fields and how easy that is. So hopefully that gives you the idea of, you know, how to use it in your system. And they're not as more as complicated as you think. It's pretty relatively easy to use once you get used to using is type and as type in the system.